The goal of Common IT is to solve the nightmare of IT management. In this video, I'm going to show you how to provision a server in a couple of minutes. The first thing you do in Common IT is to describe the machines that you want to create. Here, I'm going to add a simple web server in the production environment of my example organization. Next, I'm going to tell Common IT where I want this machine to be deployed. Let's select a local hypervisor running KVM and change one of the memory settings. I pick the operating system distribution and I add my little web server application. In another video I will show you how these applications can be created inside Common IT. Now that my machine has been defined, I can ask Common IT to provision the machine. So Common IT will actually reserve the resource on the hypervisor and start installing the operating system. This is a true installation, not a gold image. At the end of the installation process, all the applications and the configuration are ready. It usually takes a couple of minutes, so we just fast forward. The machine is now being fully installed, so going to reboot, and I can check if my web server is installed. As you can see, once the machine has been successfully provisioned, Common IT also gives me the IP address and host name. So let's see if there is a web server over there. And it works. Very simple web deployment with default values. Now I can use Common IT to change some configuration parameters. So let's, for example, put the web server on a non-default port. Common IT will interact with virtual machine to update the configuration file, restart the service, and do everything required to make the change live. So the web server has successfully changed to another port. I can also use Common IT to add application on running machines. So let's deploy a website application, which is really just a file in the document root in this case. And I can see that my website has been successfully deployed. Now all these changes, because we do them through Common IT, are in the audit log. So we always know who has been doing what on the system. That's it for this simple demo. If you want more information, please visit our website, commonit.com, follow us on Twitter, or watch the other videos. Thank you.